can't hold us back, we on another level. Yeah, it's that new age, ain't it something special? Yeah, yeah. we gon' change the game, we gon' live forever. What's up my friends and welcome back to your daily dose of Fortnite here at the Happy Park channel and today we have for you guys well today's daily refresh of news. Now in this particular video we have for you guys everything you missed out on the last 24 hours and we also have for you guys some pretty awesome theories for season 10. So without further ado let's get to our very first thing which is going to be today's update. So instead of today's update, of course, they gave us the brand new sniper rifle. And with that, they also gave us what appears to be some birthday cakes and some birthday information. Now, even though the birthday cakes are supposed to be here, it turns out that Fortnite tweeted out this earlier today. The birthday cakes and birthday presents will be available on July 25th. So not available right now, but relatively soon. So we should also be expecting the birthday challenges on the exact same day. We brought to you guys the Leech birthday video, but it turns out that was in like China's time. So the time zones were a little messed up. So instead of the 24th, of course the US will be on the 25th. So pretty awesome stuff right there and definitely a lot to look forward to in the next couple of days. Moving into our next Fortnite topic, Xbox just announced a brand new controller bundle. Now the controller bundle is just simply, well, the Dark Vertex custom controller that also comes with the Dark Vertex skin. Pre-order the Fortnite Special Edition controller and get ready for the Fortnite Game World Cup Finals July 26th through the 28th. That of course it also comes with this promotion image attached to it. 500 V-Bucks with the skin bundle set and controller set with the Dark Vertex Cosmetics set. A lot of people were saying that it might not come with the entire set and only the skin, but it does in fact say set, so hopefully it does come with the pickaxe and of course that awesome glider. But we'll have to wait and see and a major F to all of those people who actually bought a console just to get this skin because now the controller is going to be like maybe $60 max and you guys get some V-Bucks, the controller, and of course the Dark Vertex skin which is all worth quite a bit of cash. So pretty crazy stuff right there. Moving into our next Fortnite topic, everyone was actually talking about this yesterday. Risky Reels was added back to the files and it turns out that is not the case guys. So through all the clickbait and probably you guys probably seen in this today's title, sorry about that. <laughs> but Fire Monkey actually added to this and said this. Risky Reels isn't coming back. Sorry about tweeting about it earlier. Woke up to tons of DMs about it, so I thought it was real, and now I just looked into it. So it turns out it was just simply a low res image of a map, and that's basically it. So an HLOD.US set. That's pretty much all it was, and apparently it's always been inside the game. It just simply, I don't know, was easier to find now. Not quite sure why this is the case, but. Nonetheless guys, it is not really new and we all don't really think it's going to be coming back anytime soon. Now also today, the overtime challenges are now available. Now the overtime challenges, like skins themselves, are actually quite important for Season 10 and of course the hints towards Season 10. Now I talked about this all day on my Twitter yesterday because it's actually quite important and now that it's easier to see, we can give you guys a full in-depth look. So with inside the overtime challenges, we have Bunker Jonesy, Stratus, and I believe the woman's name is Demi. So we have... Stratus, Demi, and Jonesy Bunker, or Bunker Jonesy, wow, I just said that backwards for some reason, but yeah, you guys might have noticed something weird about these characters. One, Bunker Jonesy is older, which is actually in the title itself, but also, you guys can definitely tell instead of an actual, like, uh, a blonde beard, he actually has a gray beard, so he's most definitely older, but... If you look at Stratus, he actually got considerably younger because his mustache is gone and overall his face structure is much younger looking. And as far as Debbie goes, well, she just kind of looks like maybe younger or maybe older. We're not quite sure as she just changed colors. But you guys can definitely tell that's quite strange. We have Bunker Jonesy getting much older, but we also have Stratus getting much younger. So it looks like the space time continuum inside the game is actually completely messed up. And it kind of makes sense because the zero point of the map, or the orb instead of Loot Lake, must control some sort of space-time time travel? We're not quite sure. We've seen time travel in the game quite a few times now. Whether it be from the actual rocket event where it goes through like the rifts or something else of that nature, we've definitely seen some sort of time travel in the past, so we definitely know the Fortnite universe has the capability of doing so. Now with all that being said, it kind of leads me to think that season 10 might actually be a time traveling season, or it might be 
Various locations or a point of interest might be returning or returning to what they used to be in different time zones, or basically loops. So my theory about Season 10 is basically this. Season 10 will be a time travel theme, and during Season 10 we'll be seeing different time zones slash different point of interest in each part of the map because the time-space continuum has exploded or the zero point orb has exploded and gave us, well, a whole bunch of rifts slash terrors in the universe. So space and time are completely messed up and all the point of interest are either old or very young and that kind of explains why the overtime challenges are either old characters or young characters. So pretty weird stuff overall and that's my personal theory and I'm definitely curious to see what your theories are down below. Now over the past 4 days, the actual orb has changed a variety of times, and thanks to 4 tour, we have already got it each and every single day, so day 1, day 2, day 3, and day 4. Now it looks like the cracks are getting bigger and some sort of light is coming out of it, so it's definitely going to be exploding probably by the end of season 9, and of course during season 10 we'll be seeing a cutscene as far as what actually happens. Now that's actually very, very interesting, and I'm most definitely curious to what your theories are about this actual object over here, because this exploding could actually destroy the map entirely, or take us back to another dimension, or a different location. I mean, this orb is so freaking powerful. It killed and obliterated and basically turned the actual Caddis monster into dust as it went through its head. And considering he legit turned into a skeleton instantly, we definitely know for a fact this sword or the power of the orb has the ability to age things faster, or basically put them into a different time zone. So we're not quite sure what to think, we're going back and forth with this, but let's read, let's read some theories from the Fortnite community. So Farmonkey tweeted out this, I just want to call it now. With the zero point cracking, it has caused time to speed up. And with risky reels being re-enabled inside the files, here is my theory. Well, like we said before guys, this is before we found out that risky reels is not relevant to, of course, season 10. But, it also said, the zero point is screwing with the time in Fortnite, causing places to age or de-age, meaning some old places are new again, and some new places are going to be staying the same as they are. So for Season 10, I predict that the map will have new locations mixed with old locations. Imagine original Dusty Depot next to Neo Tilted. I mean, that's absolutely a great theory, so awesome job right there. Uh, definitely looking forward to that, if that's actually a possibility, and I really hope it actually is. Now, everyone's been tagging me in this again, because Donald Musk for a little while ago, Basically, I retweeted this tweet and said, well, question mark, or basically a thinking face. And this is about the moon, so we're not quite sure what's going on. Could Season 10 be in space, or could it mean something else, or could it mean that the moon, during Season 10's event, will have some sort of massive thing inside of it that'll come crashing down to the Fortnite map? I mean, there's just so many theories that we come up with today's video. And you guys remember back to the meteorite? What if, like, we're in one massive time loop? Like, what if the meteorite is from this time period? and it actually cracked off the moon and it hit the map and now we're basically going to a loop and we're seeing all the events once again but basically reversed. That seems so freaking confusing but just really think about this. What if from the actual meteorite event, it is from this right here but this is in the future so how is that possible? Well it could be possible with the orb so I won't confuse you guys too much but I'll let you guys speculate about this theory down below as far as we're basically going into a loop and we're going reverse plus forward at the same time and going farther into the future into the past and multiple different seasons. Now quite frankly, as far as today's video goes, that's all I have for you guys as of right now. I don't want to confuse you guys too much, but it's definitely some crazy stuff for today's video. So definitely leave your theories down below as I'm most definitely curious to see what's going to be happening and what you guys think about going to be happening during season 10. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's videos and as always, stay happy.